Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we got the good old Admiral Bobbery to join our party. And in this episode, we are going into the Pirate's Grotto to search for booty. Ooh, spooky booty. That doesn't seem familiar in the slightest. Now let's keep on going down here. Ground Pound Ahoy! Wow, I don't think I've done that before. That was fun. Uh, go over here. And just make our way through a dungeon, basically. And we got a new type of enemy, already a reskin of the Ember. It's now a Super Ember. No, it's not actually called the Super Ember, but it is basically what it is. Um, it is the Lava Bubble, okay? Instead of just being, like, spooky ice fire, now it's just straight up fire fire. Fire, 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 fire! Rock, 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 rock! Bobbery is very good for this chapter because... Uh, it's his chapter, and also because he is able to hurt those guys. Uh, so it's him and Koops that are the only ones who can do it. And hello, Shine Sprite. Very, very nice. Go over here, and I feel like very, very nice has been like the phrase of this LP. Or at least for the second half. I don't know what I said in the first half, because who even knows. Uh, but whatever. Uh, have a little thing go off, and we can just go ahead and fight these guys. We already saw them, you know, the gist of it. It's just that they're a lot easier to take out now that you have Bobbery. One star point away, so sad. Uh, oh, a bunch of stuff fell into the water. Got a star piece though, that's very nice. And Bobbery fell into the water, oh no. Man overboard, bomb overboard. Uh, we gotta make our way through spikes. Yes, I was like, I was waiting for it. Not completely crazy. Switch to Vivan. And we know this puzzle works. In case you're wondering, no, you can't use the paper thin ability to just hide in between the spikes. Does not work. Go over here. And no, we'll just keep on going. Keep on going. Hello! Uh, Vivan is very good for these enemies since they keep on shooting, but I'd rather go to Goombella so we can tattle them. Uh, this is sort of a, another grinding place because these guys will never stop appearing. They just keep on coming and coming and coming in until you get rid of those blasters. But these guys specifically, they are the Bullet Bill. Very classic enemy. That's a bullet bill. It, attack, it attacks after being shot from a bill blaster. Max HP is two, attacks four, defense is one. Take care of it quickly or it'll totally wail into you, mosh pit style. Use those action commands and take it out. And it explodes upon contact, so if you don't defeat it right away, then it's just going to be gone. But you still get the experience for it, I'm pretty sure. Okay, maybe it's not that great for grinding because you only get one star point, but one was all we needed. And now we get a level up. Gonna go and upgrade FP now. We got a lot of stinking uh, power at our disposal now, which I'm very, very happy about. And now you just gotta go ahead and get rid of these guys, if we can. God stinking darn it. Once more with gusto. Did I hit the bill blaster? I no, I did not. Okay, new plan. There you go. That's probably the better move anyway, because I could hurt both of them at the same time. Even though there are two different uh, enemies and two separate uh, sprites on the battlefield, on the overworld. Uh, get ri getting rid of one of them, we'll get rid of them both after this battle. Uh, time to tattle them. Yes, even the blaster itself is an enemy. That's a bill blaster. This is the cannon that shoots bullet bills. Max HP is 5, defense is 2. It doesn't attack directly, but shoots bullet bills at you. I know the bullet bills are annoying, but take out the bill blaster first, trust me. Arg, how many of those things will shoot at us? You're so annoying! God. Uh, swap to a Bobbery. Yeah, even though we got Miss Mouse before Bobbery, she goes to the back of the party list because she is an optional party member. It is kind of Akutaka, but whatever. This will be a good time to show off Art Attack, our new star power ability, our new star spirit crystal star 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 ability. It's very easy to use. You just gotta draw a circle around enemies. It's like Okami, except not really. Just draw a circle. The more of the enemy you get into the circle, the more damage you'll do. And we're basically done. So we could just like derp around. We could like, ooh, I can make a star. Oh, I guess I couldn't make a star. I can make like a 69 or something like that. That wasn't even a, I don't even know, whatever. I told the story that like I didn't know actually know what a 69 was until like a couple years ago, even though I'm obsessed with saying 69 over and over. Oh, whatever. I, I, I genuinely remember the exact day and like location where I 
first discovered 69 like the joke of it and like where i started like being obsessed with the number i remember the exact day and the exact room i was in and who i was talking to and everything like that but like only just a few years ago to actually under fully understand what how a 69 worked i knew what it was like i knew it was a sex thing but like i was horribly um incorrect in how i thought it was performed basically but we're not going to be talking about that because this is midnight and beyond incorporated and we don't talk about such uh, disgusting things, such as doing the nasty, we're here playing Nintendo, and hello, this is a big old mamma jamma. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use Bobbery, because why the heck not? There's a first strike for us. One of my favorite enemies design-wise, but they are very, very difficult to fight. It is... Dead. Well, I guess that's how you can end the fight quickly if you don't care about HP. Uh, it is a bulky bob -omb. They will light their fuse and then they will go off in like three turns. They won't explode instantly like the regular bob -omb. Which, by the way, I did find in the Pit of 100 Trials, so I was able to finally tattle it. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of weird that we uh, don't have that going for us, but whatever. Uh, just gonna jump on him again. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Bulky bob -omb. It's just a very bulky bob -omb that has high defense and it, um, lights a fuse that makes it blow up in three turns, so you just gotta get rid of it quickly. A.K.A. a ticking time bomb. Get that, and that, and there's a locked door that we need to unlock. No, we're just gonna leave it. Uh, go over here. There's a couple ways you can go about getting this. Uh, thing you could come back later after you get a new ability in a future chapter or you could uh phooey, I think you could just switch to coops. How does this work? Is it like hidden right here? How do we do this? Uh, okay, that's how you do it. It's very weird But after you do that you could just hit it and get another shine sprite. How many of these we got? We got stinking seven of these my god. Uh, let's see, I did also get the Buzzy Beetle and Parabuzzy in my uh, tattle log, which is nice, but we did not find a spike top in the Pit of 100 Trials, so we'll all need to go uh, and find another one elsewhere. Okay, got that taken care of. Just jump over this waterfall, and we are not able to reach this, so we're going to go get Bobbery out and have him reach it for us. It's kind of like... Sort of like having coops where we can throw them in the air, if you think about it. A weird sort of way. Ooh, turn back! Ooh, go no further or you will never leave! I wonder if we should keep going or not. <laughs> and we got another one of these. Let's not uh, destroy them in one turn this time. So you can actually see him a little bit in battle. Now we can see him in the audience as well, which is really cool. Audience looks a lot more varied now, which I very much like. Uh, let's go ahead and, I guess, use regular hammer so all the damage is not one single hit. That does three damage, okay. And Bobber's just going to annihilate them, unfortunately. So we're going to switch to, I guess, Miss Mouse. And they're lighting themselves up, oh boy. You're still able to hit them, thankfully, without... Uh, them explode instantly. It's just a matter of whether or not you use fire explosions on them while they... Well, actually, not even while they're lit, because they, we did it before, like, as a first strike, and it was not very good! Kind of like how long you have to wait for the thing to go, or whatever. Do a little jump, and we're good. Look, it just looks just like... Ooh. Oh, they raised their defense. That's a new one. Go and do that. Oh, that's a little bit awkward. Uh, how many more turns? Two. Uh, we're not gonna be able to beat this thing. Guess brace for impact. Now its attack is raised. Oh boy. Uh, phooey. Yeah, there's literally nothing we could do. So sad. And there she blows. Okay. Oh, wait, no, she isn't up yet. Okay, cool. Uh, regular hammer? I was just running around like crazy. Because you're lasting in time to beat it. 
and love slap. Or as I like to call it, smack dab. Very, very nice. So, like, does she automatically- I always call them a she because, like, they're pink. Um, does she always, like, raise her defense in that specific turn? Turn! Uh, when you're doing the charge-up thing? Because then, like, it runs out on the last turn. You can defeat them easily. So, I don't know. Not the best plan of enemy, but whatever. Uh, Miss Mouse's sniffer is going off. So, that means there's a treasure nearby. And here it is. A star piece. Uh, Bobbery Bull Boy. Let's go over to you. And head up here. Ooh, we got like a little skull back here. And anything down here? No, not yet. Or not quite. Or not at all. Whatever. Oh, uh, let's just go over here. I believe we need coops for this. We might also just be. We might be able to just use Bobbery with the time bomb or whatever. Uh, or maybe we outright need Bobbery because there's enough space. He's a new party member after all, so. It only makes sense that we use him. And that's unfortunate. Just had to time it a little bit better, and that's really unfortunate. Everything's just going downhill. Ugh. Okay, we'll just wait for him to go a little over closer. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, why wasn't I jumping? Come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, switch to Coop so I could quickly get this key. Thank you. And then jump onto this thing, so we have to do this again. Ride it back up. And hey, there's a shine sprite here as well. How lovely. And yeah, I suppose there's something else that I was looking for. It's a star piece. Go to Bobbery. And get on out of here. Okay, pretty easy puzzles, all things considered. Now we head over here. So, uh, speaking of... Pirates. We haven't had nearly as much One Piece references as I would have liked so far, so um, I think we're on episode 990. It's crazy, like, we're going to be at a thousand episodes soon, or, or is it 890? I think it's 890, so we're going to be at 900 episodes. It's sinking insane. Like, I don't think it's going to be over in a thousand episodes, because, uh, like, the halfway point of One Piece was episode 516, and that was considered the halfway point, but considering how much longer the arcs have gotten after that... I don't think it's gonna be ending anytime soon. Like, it's not gonna be ending on near the thousands. It might be like 1100, 1200, or who knows, really? It could just go on forever. I'm fine with that, though. Actually, no, I kind of really want to see it end because it'd be very really unfortunate if something happened to Oda or the voice actors or anything like that, so I really just want the story to end already. I'm always super worried for their health. Uh, here's a new feature that could happen in the audience. The bulky bob could blow up in the audience, so uh, you can tell how that's gonna go. Look at his eyes. It looks just like he's like saying, Hey man, I drank the weed once. <laughs> now that we've taken care of all these stinking enemies, I can finally show off that if you ground pound right here, there is a star piece. I believe that's the final star piece in chapter five. So that's very cool. We don't have to worry about those anymore. But we do have to worry about shine spreads apparently. At least those are easy to find. Hit that one and we are good to go. And I'm just hanging in the air. Hanging in the air. Whoa. I'm just Hein and Sen. Well, how's about we all go out there and, uh, Hein and Sen? I believe you could also use the paper tube ability. Yes, you can, but watch out for the spikes that are down here, otherwise, you're gonna. That made no sense. Do this again. Roll around at the speed of not sound. Okay, and we're good. And another sink and shine sprite. Jesus, they're just handing out like candy in this area. I guess it is like a special treasure of sorts. There you go. And that was also a really weird glitch. Jeez, I'm finding a lot of weird graphical glitches in this game right now. Uh, jump across these. And we should be good, thank you. Uh, boy. Let's do that. That's a good enemy to do that on, Jesus. Jeez, so many stinking things just fell into the stinking water. Well, there's nothing too important. Uh, go ahead and have Bobbery blow this up. I guess that's just the solution to all these puzzles now. Just blow it up! That is the solution to a lot of puzzles, actually. We're gonna have a lot of stuff to do when we get back to Rogue Ports! Okay! Oh, double G's. The double slammy Sammy. Okay, sorry for all the cutaways. Is that, like, a lot of these enemies appear in big groups and they take a long time to, come to take out or it's just, like, 
they are very annoying like that and they have a lot of defense or they just keep on coming and don't stop coming and stuff. But I like how his appeal is just him blowing himself up. Even though he does that for all of his regular attacks, like, yeah, normally I blow myself up, but this time I'm gonna blow up with style. Grab all the corns. Have I talked about Toy Story 4 yet? Holy Jesus, Toy Story 4. I... No, I can't, I can't say anything about it because spoilers, but my god. Toy Story 4. Toy Story 4. Toy Story 4. Bulky ba bomb 4. Whoopsie doopsie, I forgot about explosions and how they exist, but we're close to a level up, so it's fine. Go get the corns. And we are good to go. Head on over here. Hopefully we can get a level up before the episode ends. We're finding a lot of these boat panels. Gee, I wonder if it's foreshadowing something that's about to happen. Like me falling into the place where boats should be if we had one. This is where I put my boat. If I had one! And hey! Another mysterious treasure chest! Gee, I have no idea what this could possibly be. It's not even funny at this point, so I don't even have anything creative to say. As if I have anything creative to say in general, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. York! Oh, sweet, sweet salvation! I thought no one would ever come. I had given up. What's that? Spare you the prologue and just curse you already? Now, how did you know I was gonna do that? No, seriously, hang on a sec. Can't you say- can't you just listen to my spiel a little bit? I've been locked here forever, bored stiff, doing nothing but practice this speech. Huh? I'm already the fourth cursing chest you've met? Are you serious? So, you're saying you know exactly how this is all gonna turn out. Man, talk about a raw deal. You're a twisted little guy, you know that? Uh, like how he says yes, like yes, Mario's a very twisted little guy. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I get the picture, okay? Sheesh! The only one was to see the face of some unlucky soul when I popped out. Is that so much to ask? No. Anyway, what were you waiting for? Just open it already. You know what the key looks like, Mr. Seen It Already. Some ghost here has it. So just beat him and get it and we'll get this farce over with. Come on now, I'm waiting. And ever so conveniently, the enemy is right here. Let's see, uh, did the ground pound count? Survey says no. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, you could switch to Miss Mouse and get that super shroom, that'd be kind of nice. Uh, let's try, we haven't even shown off our thief ability yet, so I'm going to go and do that. The main problem with me uh, trying to do it before is that it only works on the enemy that's directly in front of the group, so I can't choose an enemy in the back, which is really annoying. Uh, press A to stop the gate after it presses, after it passes, okay, okay. Oh, it's a fire enemy. That's awkward. <laughs> okay, I didn't think we'd end up touching it. I thought we were just gonna take the item from behind it, but apparently not. And there goes the strips. Like, yeah, you try to steal this thing. Now I'm gonna just eat it in your face, even though I don't even have a mouth. Oh, I guess I do have a mouth, but it doesn't appear normally and stuff. Uh, well, so many rocks, my god. It's like when you make one stinking mistake, it's like, oh, <laughs> It's like making YouTube videos, but people only point out the problems in it and don't actually compliment any of the good stuff in it. <laughs> uh, let's jump on this guy. Jump on this guy, jump on this guy, now there's fog all up in here. And up next, this guy. Oh hey, Bobbery's about to die, that's kind of Akotaka, we don't want that to happen because that would result in a uh, no more stinking. Life Shroom. I don't want to lose that, so we're close to a level up. Let's use- EXCUSE ME, YOU JERK! Throwing a soda can when I'm using Art Attack, the crystal star we got from Vivan. Dare if you do such a, thing, such a thing. Just draw around you, and we are good to go and stuff. Let's see, uh, I'm gonna draw... That looked kind of suggestive. I was gonna draw like a heart, but it was upside down and it looked weird. Oh good, oh hey, Double Star Points actually is good right now because it gives us the level up instead of having us have to wait for one more battle in the next episode because we're gonna end things off after this. So we got 12 Star Points and a well-deserved level up. Level up! Oh, the waterfall back there looked really weird. I was like, what well, the fruit's up with this icon? Get more BP. You got the black key, a strange black key, but what could it be for? I have no idea. 
And before I forget, let's just go and equip something. Uh, what do we got? Uh, we got the P down D up badge, by the way. It, uh, drops the damage Mario deals and receives by one. Uh, not sure why you want to wear that, but whatever. Uh, we're going to... Huh, I guess we could just do the good old power smash. And pretty lucky once again. Once again! Yeah, yeah, whoop de doo you got the key, party time. Now let me out already. All right, here we go. Since you're just itching to get this over with. Ahem. Wee fools! You dopes fell right into my absolutely brilliant trap, and now you will suffer. Oh yeah, I'm so evil. Bathe in the foul, awful- Wait, what was next? Oh yeah, you fools will be cursed forever for your appalling stupidity. You will rue the day you open this chest of doom. Now, you wretched guy, be cursed. Wee! Now you're cursed, but good. Suffer, suffer, suffer. Wait, maybe that's too much. Are you all right? That didn't really hurt, did it? Wee! Good squirm and suffer like socially awkward worms. From now on, in certain places, if you press Y, you'll turn into a paper boat. Isn't that just gruesome? Does Groose ride the boat? Just try it out so I can see the depth of your humiliation. Feel the terror of your fate. When you stand on one of the boat panels, the panel will feel your curse and glow. Yes, stand the slime, feel the pain, and press Y. Become a paper boat. I am the One Piece. Wee! Oh yes, such suffering. Do you feel the horror? Now you're a piddly little boat. Wee! You float on the water. People will laugh at you. You will be spit upon. But it only works in certain places. So don't worry. It's not too bad. When you want to return to normal, approach the panel and press Y. Now, try it, worm. Yes, your pain is like a tasty banquet to me. Now, do you understand your doom? Run that by me again? Yeah, I got it. Then off with you, you jaded, cursed boat guy. Oh, and hey, listen, thanks for letting me do my thing. I feel better. And he was kind enough to even give us some extra paper so our boat would be complete. Ah, well, I say, that cursed chap seems rather a bit of all right, eh? Yeah, he's a pretty cool guy, all things considered. And that's the final curse in the game, so sad, and we're... Jesus, apparently. Oh, wait, no, we weren't Jesus. I didn't notice. Okay. We are uh, done with the chest, guys. That was the last one in the game. So we are now the king of curses. How wonderful. As well as being the king of uh, super guardians. Uh, but yeah, now that that's taken care of, we are going to end things off right here. Next time on Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, we are going to continue our way through the Pirate's Grotto. Possibly reaching the end. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.